What's going on, everybody? Wastafarian back at it again with the fishy boy himself, Mel Thibson. Uh, we are uh, currently down here in Epicrotia. We were looking around at the end of last episode. We picked up some new companions I'm pretty excited about. Uh, we learned that we cannot assign, in fact, we cannot assign two people to the same role um, the hard way. Uh, repeated uh, idiocy on my part. And uh, we also expanded into Clan 2 too, which is very exciting. We're going to get our recruits up. Uh, in this episode, we're going to get up to 150 stack, and we're going to start 160 or so, and we're going to start roaming around the map and, uh, and wrecking stuff. And I can't think of a better way to start off the day than joining in in the first tournament that we have participated in outside of Batania. So we will uh, take our tournament, Mel Thibson. He is going to prove that he is the champion of not just the Batanian people, but ultimately we will have to prove that we are the champion of all people. Oh, better way. Make simple combat. Proof. Oh shit. There's two people on me. Fight each other. Ow! Those javelins hurt real bad. Ow. Oh! We did qualify. Red team won. And those guys were tough. Ganged up on the whole time. Alright. Surprise. Usually when they gang up on you, it's a, it's a single combat, huh? Alright. Bring it.
Excuse me. So, uh, so yeah, we're gonna go um, branch off, create a uh, a second party, and uh, start to put some recruits in there. Um, let's go over here to Uthalem, and we're just gonna take all the recruits. Wow, we actually have 90 now. Uh, so we're gonna have 180 troops once it's all said and done, which is great. That's a huge increase. This is when the game really starts to get uh, playable, you know. So we're going to split our party off. Um, oh, right. So we have to do it from the clan menu. You got to go over to parties, create new party. Uh, who do we want to put in charge of the party? I believe we want to put the guy who has, uh, I think it's the the Swift. She has like, no, she's the one with stewardship and stuff. Jameer the Scholar, Moonim of the Wastes. I think he's our, one of our scouts. Um, yeah, so we'll use Moonim of the Wastes. Um, and we will... Oh, he only has a party limit size of 50. Okay, so we will just give him uh, most of the recruits. We'll just give him 50 straight up. Uh, I don't know. So I actually like it, because when you start getting leadership up, it, if we... Let's just go over this real quick. So I noticed this the other day when I was playing. Um, if you come over to hear the character screen... What you'll notice is that your leadership skill, or your, uh, excuse me, tactic, what is it, steward? Uh, something in, like, one of these trees helps your soldiers, your recruits, le like, level up faster. Uh, let's see which word, which word, where it is. Small XP bonus per day. Medium XP bonus per day to tier 1, 2, and 3 troops. So this is what I'm talking about. Raise the Meek. So the thing about Raise the Meek is... Oh, actually, we're going to need that. So let's put some points... Let's put a point in the leadership. So the thing about Raise the Meek is... You get this medium XP bonus for tier 1, 2, and 3 tree, troops. You could also go with small XP bonus per day to party. That gives bonuses to all your troops. However, if you go with this, then you get a larger up XP bonus. And yeah... All of your higher tier troops don't get any more XP, but your lower tier troops will level up to higher tier much faster. And so with this in, com in combination, as, as I understand it, you know, I, they have to be in my party, Mel Thibson's party, in order for this buff to take effect. So the way I always do it is I put all of the low tier, tier 1, 2, and 3 troops into my party, and then I start to shuffle off, like, the cavalry into one, and the, the you know, when you get more parties, you can, you can have, like, archers, missile cav, regular cav, and infantry. And then I always just have all the recruits with me. And then I, and also, the other thing that allows you to do is to choose what they level up into, which unit composition, I'm sure you know, is incredibly important in this game. It really does matter a lot. Okay, so with that being said, let's go back over here to Moon in the Wastes, and let's give him some, um, let's give him some troops uh, with that in mind. So we're going to give him the Fien and the Foxman, the Wildlings, the Veteran. All the top tier troops, anything above tier 3, um, that's what we're going to start with giving him. And then, from there, uh, we're going to try and... Th uh, let's just train warrior over here. Uh, we don't want this peasant, actually, at all. Clan warrior. Yeah. Okay. And we'll just go ahead and empty out the rest of our stuff. Uh, reason for that being... Except for these guys, because we want to be able to choose whether they become picked warriors or cav. Uh, the reason for that being so that we can just recruit straight in to ours, and we won't have to worry about like constantly, you know, bouncing back and forth. Uh, in this case, he had we don't have enough trained troops to even fill him all the way up, so I will uh, offload the excess um, over here. Or you know what? Maybe I'll just keep them. Tough call, honestly.
Okay, so we won't we won't overstack his party. We will just uh we'll just go and go ahead and leave it at that and uh, leave now. Now here's the other little trick that I picked up here over the uh, the months that I or the weeks that I've been playing this game. So uh, when I first did this, and I mean you know probably all you guys know this already, and you're like you fucking dumb, dumb dumb. Of course that's what you do. But uh, you can create armies. Uh, so if I go over here to my kingdom and I go to armies. I still can't. Oh, mercenaries. Okay, I have to go talk to the king right now. Oh, that's annoying. Jah. Darn it. Where the heck is Where the heck is the king? I gotta become a, a a guy. A guy. I gotta become a guy. Let's go over here, kingdoms. Uh, we'll we'll go find a uh, homeboy in a minute. Um, Caladog, where where are you? Remtoil Castle. Remtoil. 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 I feel like that's all the way over here somewhere. No. Oh, it's, he's down here? Okay. Well, let's just run down there to him real quick. Try to have a, a quick chat. Hopefully. Just gotta keep an eye out on the map for him. And, uh, of course, we don't want to get caught by, uh, Volandia. Let's come on down to Remsoil Castle. Maybe he's... Uh, okay. Huh. Strange, strange... Where the heck is this guy? What does it say? Remsoil Castle. So, yeah. That's the annoying part about tracking people down in this flipping game, man. Where's the guy at? Ingalter's army. Okay. I just kind of got to wait for this thing to update. Because I don't know where the heck he is. doesn't say his name. Well, just hang out until we can find him. So, uh, I'll tell you what, guys. I will... Uh, ooh. I will uh, bring you guys back uh, once I have found uh, Cali Dog. Okay? Uh, so, yeah, be right back. Okay, so, turns out that Cali Dog, I you may have seen that already. I did not read it, but here it is. Cali Dog of the Battalions, Batanians, has been taken prisoner by Heckard of the Volandians. So, he's currently a prisoner in Marinath. Um,. So there's really not much we can do about uh, about that, unfortunately. So let's just keep going on with the plan of getting the recruits. And I'll try and keep um, an eye out for your boy I'm leaving. They'll say down here or over here or something when he, when he gets uh, when he gets let go. <sighs> All right, not a lot of recruits over here. Just a ton of armies being. Some, like, you know, mustard at all times, because I believe we're losing this war with Volandia. It, it sure seems like we are. Um, so, yeah. I'm just going to keep running around. I'll grab, uh, let's go over here to Swenrin. You know. Recruit all of them. Yeah, this is when you can afford to be a little less judicious, because it's pretty much just like, I'll recruit everything I can. You know. And, uh, I do wish there was a faster way to trade recruits in this game. It, it is, uh, a bit of a chore sometimes. Not gonna lie. Uh, but, you know, it's a labor of love. I enjoy the game. It is a bit, it's a bit repetitive. I'm not, you know, but I, I really, uh, I like where this game is going. You know, I, I feel like they're being... I don't know. I mean, I just like... I like think that this is one of those games... And I mean, I, I'm not familiar, as some of you might be, with uh, the original Mountain Blade. So correct me if I'm wrong here. But I feel like... I, I come from, like, an Arma background. So I played a ton of Arma 3. And if you just sit down and play vanilla Arma 3, you're like... Yeah, alright. Like, this game's kind of okay. But then you go on a modded server, and, you know, it's like... Oh, this is the game everybody's playing. I was just playing the wrong game. I thought that this was, you know? So, I feel like that's definitely the case with this game, where it's like, yeah, you think that that's, you know, it's it's actually um, a lot. It's actually a pretty good game, you know? It's just going to take a little while for the modding community to make it into the game that it's supposed to be. And the way that developers like this seem to work, you know, um, is like they, they just release... Uh, the sandbox, you know, they're like, here is the sandbox. We have given you all of the tools. Please make yourself a game that you would enjoy. You can make yourself 
this game, you can make yourself that game, you can have role playing, you know, we're just going to give you the options and you can make it into whatever you want to be. And that's when they st these kinds of games start to be a lot of fun is when you get in a community and you start to participate. So that what I would really love to see for this game is like a multiplayer, uh, you know, a multiplayer campaign map or something like that. Maybe like a persistent online campaign or like, you know, maybe there's like a modded servers where uh, you could be, you know, playing uh, for uh, long periods of time on like a persistent map, you know, a persistent battlefield. So it would be like, you know, over the weeks, it's like, ah, oh, the Batanians took over Junglanis, like we're gonna go back and try and try and mess them up. And it's all about field battles and positioning and alliances and a lot of, you know, subterfuge and all those fun, fun things. I have a lot of fun doing those things in, in games because, you know, <coughs> I try not to be a shit bird in real life. You know? Everyone! If I, can, uh, if I can avoid it. Look at them. Look at all my recruits. They're just all recruits. Infantry! Infantry! When they're all recruits like this, you just send them in. Because, you know, whatever. It's, some of them are going to die, but they're tier one, so it's not a big deal. It's just, <laughs> ow, that hurt like a business. Yeah, take it to the leg, boy. Slaughter. <laughs> All right, last guy. I got a javelin for your butt. Whoop. Oh. <laughs> ah, got him. Yes, man. For Batania. Purge the looters from the lands. And you know it's been real tough to get into big fights. In this playthrough so far, it really has. I've we've only got gotten in like what, what? You know, but pretty. It's just like, man, you know, there's a lot of uh, Batania's just starts in such a rough, uh, you know, a rough spot in the map. You're like right here by these like hyper aggressive. I mean, Volandia is a super faction in this game right now because they have the best heavy cap in the game, bar none. It's, it's like easy. They're running away with it. They just deal so much damage and they're so hard to kill. There's so many of them. So they're just running all over us. We got the light armor. I mean, we're just the antithesis. Everything that Volandia is built to destroy is what Batania is. And then over here on this side, of, that's kind of how they did it. On this side of the map, the other super OP factions are like kind of on the edges. So, uh, Sturgia is like a joke. They get crushed every time. And then like, um, you know, if these empires don't go all crazy, at the at the start, which they kind of have in this in this playthrough, but I like in, in my last playthrough, I was playing as the uh, the Kuzates, and like you know, the Kuzates are a menace if you're playing against them. The Valandi and the the, the the battle map at the end was just one third Asari, one third Valandian, one third Kuzates, and it was I like took over the the step. That was the the name of the game in the in the Kuzate playthrough. But anyways, I digress. Um, in this playthrough, it's just been—it's been a little bit different, you know. It's been a little harder to get the troops together. We've won, we've won less battles, uh, you know. In this case, this guy got captured. Like he's still at frickin' Marinath, which means he's still a prisoner. There's nothing we can do about it, and we gotta figure out something else to do. So what the heck else are we gonna do? That's an army. We don't want anywhere. We don't want to be anywhere near that. I guess we can go and raid some towns. Um, we could raid some towns, or we could uh, we could take on this caravan. I mean, it's definitely worrisome to take on a caravan when you have just infantry, just a ton of infantry like I have right now. What we really need to do is to run around and win some rapid leader battles, but that will be boring. So we are not going to do that. And instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go after a like a little weaker caravan like this one. That would be good. Ah, he's a little faster than me. Maybe I'll catch up to him. Nah, doesn't look like it. All right, don't want to get trapped out in Valandian territory, uh, even though it's kind of our territory, but. Not anymore! I gotta hold the territory if you want it to be yours. Uh, let's go over here to Cap. Maybe let's like, go to Callius and try and raid there. Alright, I won't pass on this 23 stack of looters, though. That's too juicy. That's too much XP for my fresh recruits here. Um, yeah, I got a problem with you, dog. Um, we're gonna send the troops. Bloop. Don't care if some die. They're just tier 1 recruits. Um, cool. Got some prisoners. Done deal. Easy clap. You can see that you know you want to keep your uh, guys stacked up and not try and like uh, batch batch upgrade um, because you end up it's like somehow I'm not sure how but it's somehow more efficient to to do batch upgrades than um, anything else. 
Now, here's a guy I would try and chase down usually, given my troop strength versus his. However, the reality of it is probably he's got a lot of cab and archers, and we would get pooped on. <coughs> so we're not going to do that. Excuse me. And instead, we're going to go over here to Callius to see what's good, see if we can get some, some raiding done, maybe get some... Uh, Materials. No, it's been looted, so that's there's no luck there. Oh, this is tough. Let's go over here to Dariat. I mean, we're kind of out here right now, but I mean, what else are we doing, boys? I mean, this has been a, a wandering episode so far. Just trying to figure out what the heck's going on. Like, oh, look at all these looters back here. All right, go get them. They should probably coalesce together at some point. Maybe we'll get lucky and track them all down at the same time. Come on. There it is. Surrender or die. Can't give him the opportunity to bug out here. Um, we will send the troops, as I said in the in the, in the, uh, in the past. We lost three. Thirteen wounded. It really is atrocious. They're looters. How are they hurting this many of my men? I only got three leveled up. It just never seems worth it. But I mean, I have to, I have to do it for the sake of content. Um, you know, I don't want you guys watching the same repetitive shit every day. Huh. <sighs> But this is definitely frustrating because I expected to be doing something different in this episode, and now here we are. You know, one, five of those, five of those, one, two, one, two. Seems like a fair way to do it. Starting in recruit, why not? Um, one, one. Done. All right, so we got some little upgrades now. Oh man. Let's see if there's anything we can buy. How are we doing on food? 15 days still no food. All right, let's check again on um, Paladog. Last seen at Rentoil Castle, huh? Okay, he might have he might have actually escaped then. It's possible. It's also very possible that he's just still at Maranath and that maybe he's like in someone's party and they're walking around. Now I'm not sure how that works. I've never had to rescue anyone like from anybody. <sighs> so let's go down here and see what's going on. Maybe we can find him this time. Are you actually here, my friend? Aha! The man, the myth, the legend. Here he is. Okay. Let's become a frickin' doodle bop. Uh, my, yeah. Um, I want to be a vassal. I am ready. I swear. I have given Kaladog my solemn oath. Alright, so we are now... Ah, good, good, good. Glad we got that done this episode. Alright, we are now a dude. We're a dude of Batania. And that means we can go find Jameer, wherever the heck he went. Party's Talavel Castle. All right, let's go find that. It's Talavel. Oh, where is that place? Uthelheim, Evansk, Dromor, Galius, Flanacan, Remtoil, Talavel. Let's go to the clan again. Uh, oh, I know what I'll do. I just press N, go over here. That's a very great part of this game. Definitely love it. Track. Ah! Wonderful. This... Is he a captive? I think he's a captive. Damn it! You know? Damn it. You would. You would get captured. Alright, well... Great. There are all of my high-tier troops gone. Oh, what a disaster, boys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what happened? Uh, is he raiding? Tal or maybe he's helping someone. It sounds like there's fighting. You can hear it on the map. Oh, jeez. Okay. No. No. Oh, shit. Uh-oh, boys. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see. Let's try and talk our way out of this. Uh, I'll try and bribe him. I will give you 
I will give you some money. How's that? All my money. And I'll give you some horses and some ponies. Okay, it's clear he's not going to let us go here. Oh, all right, boys, here it is. We can either try to get away or surrender. Or we can attack. Now, if we attack, we probably lose. You know, low recruit, low tier recruit troops. If we try to get away, we definitely lose a lot of men, but at least we'd have some left. This seems like certain death. But you know what? Let's hope against hope, boys. Let's fight the good fight. Melphibson won't go down easy. Melphibson doesn't care about the odds. The odds might be stacked against us, but Melphibson has. Land. He's got Everyone, the plan, baby. Forward, forward. He, knows, he knows what to do. He knows that their archers can't hurt us. Not that way. Curse you. All right, I got it. I heard it. You know. He knows. Move. Just hang out here. There's very, so very, forward. Infantry. very little that they can do. Move, cavalry. Move, footmen. Form a seal wall. Footmen. Seventy nine infantry, huh? Oh, boy. Soldier Cavalry, kill them all. Cavalry, follow me. Yeah. All right, go with the cav here. Keep the shields up. Need to go after this cap. Ah. Will demolish. Oh gosh, that's bad already. I'm probably gonna lose everything here. We'll see. Oh, that was a nice throw. I'll take that jabby all day. shot of winning here. I think that uh, that's going to be the end of it. So uh, let's see what our infantry does, I guess. We'll see how they uh, they attempt to play it, but I don't see any victory there when we don't have troops. They're not even charging. Come on, go. I'm dead. This is a disaster. We're literally just standing across from each other. Okay, whatever. There we go. And it was a slaughter. Wow. Massacred. And that, my friends, we have lost the battle. We have been defeated. Mel Fibson has fallen to the evil Volandian Empire. The oppressors, the imperial oppressors, have been victorious this day. And now we have been taken as a prisoner. <sighs> Definitely disappointing. Definitely not what I wanted. <laughs> What a day. What a day. What an episode. I don't know what happened here, boys. It was a disaster of an episode. Tragedy struck. Um, but we're going to bounce back in the next episode. We will uh, We will be a prisoner. Uh, I'll probably uh, fast forward to the part where uh, we are set free. And um, it appears that Jameer has been... So we're essentially starting all over from scratch. But at least we have Glant here, too. And we're, uh, you know, um, a vassal of Batania now. So... With that note, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. It certainly was uh, fun for me, if not, if not a little frustrating and disappointing. Um, you know, if you guys have anything to, uh, any, you know, anything to say, any likes, uh, please like the video, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, if you consider doing that, uh, I definitely, um, I just appreciate you guys being along with me for the journey. I'm gonna continue to put out content every day, and I will catch you guys on the flippy floppy. All right, peace.